In 2014, 65% of people with diabetes lived in urban areas. Meet Eve. Eve is 50 years old and works as a teacher. She has two kids and lives in Houston in a house near the lake with her husband and their 20-year-old son. They're a middle-class family that lives from paycheck to paycheck. Her neighborhood is quiet, despite the fact that it's become more crowded over the years. It's a tight-knit community where residents know each other, and a lot of the social activities are centered around the community of the local Baptist church, where Eve is an active member. There are no grocery stores nearby, only a couple of fast food restaurants, a couple of nicer restaurants, and some gas stations. Food and social activities often go hand in hand, and Eve loves cooking and having friends over for dinner. When she cooks for her family during a normal busy week, her choices are usually based on convenience, and a typical meal consists of some sort of meat and starch, one or two vegetables, and homemade sweet tea. She acknowledges that her diet might not be the healthiest, and that her passion for southern comfort food, which includes too much salt, probably affects her weight. Eve is aware that what she eats can affect her health. Her father had high blood pressure, and she's been diagnosed with prehypertension. During her second pregnancy, she was even at risk of gestational diabetes. The fact is, Eve doesn't consider herself at risk of developing diabetes. She says that according to the charts, she is overweight, but she perceives herself as relatively healthy, especially since she runs two miles every day and feels that she leads an active lifestyle. <laughs>